back on the rocks watching the float we haven't had a single drop of rain so far this week and there's none forecast either for the remaining few days that was great timing wasn't it in addition the wind has been excellent as far as the sea conditions are concerned and in particular fishing with a, a float because when you've got those two three foot differences in the the waves as they come up and down crashing into the rocks it's not ideal you need to present a bait in such a way that you've got the float just cocked there on the surface ready to sail away and ready to strike at and talking of which i've had a couple of dips so far i've only been here about 10 minutes great thing about sea fishing you don't have to bait your swim up prepare your swim you have to go to where the fish are watercraft isn't it Anyway, I'm sure I'll be back with a fish, probably a wrasse. And the first fish of this particular session on the rocks is a small ballon wrasse. Look how beautiful they are. I hope that comes out on the screen there. The second fish is still a wrasse, but it's a cork wing. You can tell that by the black spot at the root of the tail. I've got lots of activity from small wrasse. You've seen some of them there on the screen so far. Nothing big, but as always, it's great fun. You're watching that float, it's there one second and the next it's sailing away beneath the surface of the water. And without doubt, all the fish that I've caught thus far have been smaller than the float itself. That's not a problem to them though. I've located where they're feeding, that's what you have to do. It's a big ocean out there, you've got to get the right spot. And I'm just about, well, one rod length well, less than one rod length, so that means I'm about 10 feet, 9 feet away from the rocks themselves. And of course, I mentioned in a previous video this week that I've got the power gum knot that allows me to take the bait lower or higher accordingly. And I've got it just right. The tide's coming in, so every now and then I just move it up a, an inch or two when it goes quiet. But I've located the fish, I'm having great fun, and it's a beautiful day. What more could you want? I just caught a pollock. I got it onto the side. Unfortunately, didn't get a, a good grip on it. it. It fell back into the water. It counts though, because I did, I did catch it. Just not show it to the camera. The last cast, the last worm, and the last fish. I'm now making my way across the rocks and up the rocks, in some cases, clambering around like a mountain goat. That's where safety is very important. I've got a good pair of boots and the rocks are dry at this stage anyway. It's uh, further down where they're, they're still wet. I'm going to get on with the rest of the day now. We're going to Newborough Forest to see if I can spot, or we can spot, a wimmer gawk, a red squirrel. Anglesey is one of the strongholds in the UK for the species which have been pushed out by the grey invaders. Then we're going to go to that place with a long name, you know the one. And then, to round the day off, we're going to visit South Stack. Nesting birds will be there in abundance. The guillemots, the razorbills, kittiwakes, fulmers, and the one that we always like to see, the puffin. Will we? Well, let's see, shall we? <laughs> 